What's going on, you filthy anglers? Welcome back to the channel. Jay Buck with some more real stories for you. We're on a mission again. I'm trying to find me a big in. Got a couple different top waters and then the swim jig. You can see the water is back down. These fish should be up in that sloppy mess, and I want to find one. Let's walk around and see if we can find a fat hog. Alright ladies and gentlemen, ooh, it's a little squishy. Close you get to the bank. It's been underwater for weeks. You know I'm back out here with that gabbit. Just caught me a caught me a four pounder on this the other day. Got some activity here. I throw that swim jig all around that gloop. Let's see if I can find me a biggie. Let's see. So I'm gonna get that braid wet a few for a few seconds here. Whoa, it really sink. I gotta back up. I don't wanna be in the mud. If you don't, 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 don't wanna be in the mud. I'm about to walk it over a turtle. All right, let's rock that swim jig. Somebody broke their bobber. Alright guys, we moved to one of my favorite spots here off this little point. Not really a point, but it does drop off right here. Back on the frog. We're actually going to throw towards these geese. Because I know they're feeding in there. And so are the bass. They'll move. Just don't hit a frog. Don't I mean, don't hit a goose and try to hook up with one. Because that's just a mess. A little bit of movement in there. All right, another top water. I like throwing in these type of situations where it's weedy, but not too weedy. Pop Max, you see this thing has been chewed. So chewed. You guys know I love this bait. It's got the right on color. I think we're gonna froggy this. All right, let's see if the frog will get him over here. I can't really see, the sun's in my face. So it must be in yours too. There he is. Oh yeah. That's a good fish, guys. Set it with your head. When you set, rip this thing's lips off. That's a good, ooh. Good largemouth. Another good fish. Big gabbit. They love this thing, guys. Wild gill. It's getting wild out here. Let's take a photo this hammer hammer you guys look at that one more time that is a good largemouth how about one and a half two pounds coming up on three nice little fish guys big gabbit money baby 
Yummy. All right, let's let this baby go. Good fish. And we gone. They definitely don't blow up on this thing. Most of my strikes on this bait have been just slurping it, toilet bowling it, which is all right, but that means you definitely have to be paying attention because you could easily miss that strike if you're looking to the side, scratching your butt, calling your mom. Mama, I need a fish. Maybe they'll bless me with another fish. I've been here before we move on, guys. So the frog seems to be the ticket so far, which is good. I loved a frog. I've been putting a lot of work. Ooh, something roll on that? I've been putting a lot of work in on this big gabbit. I will say, if you guys are looking for numbers on a frog, which I don't consider a frog to be a numbers bait, that's just me. It, but anyway, if you're looking or considering this to be a numbers bait and you want numbers, go with a smaller frog. This is a pretty big frog. I mean, the small ones will hit it too, but I'm definitely trying to weed out them small fish, and I'm trying to find a hog. So if you're looking for some other frogs, smaller frogs, I'll link a video up above that I did on the best frogs to bank fish bass, in my opinion, smaller ones. Hope you guys can check that out. All right, guys, I just wanted to stop and give you a quick bank fishing tip. It seems small, but I want you guys to be persistent in where you fish. The water was up probably 100 feet from the bank. We had some crazy rain lately, you know that. And I lost a frog about two, two and a half weeks ago. I lost it in this brush because I knew the fish were going to be up in here. And I've been getting in the water, actually getting in for the last week and a half trying to find this frog because I didn't want to buy a new one and I really liked it. Yesterday night I was able to find it and it was awesome. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up. A lot of these baits you're gonna get back, especially if the water's up. Don't be afraid to throw in these places because losing baits is a part of the game. I think if you're not losing a bait here and there, you're not fishing where those fish wanna be. So just think about that. Don't be afraid to throw in those tight places because more often than not, you're gonna catch a fish rather than lose your bait. There's a little. Here's a little frog fishing haven. Let's see if we can find a frog in there. Or a frog fish, I should say. Right, let's work our way in this area. Looks fairly shallow. Fish only need a few inches though, so there'll be a couple tiny ones in here. There's one, guys. Nice. Out time. Another large mouth. That's a good size. Let's get this out of the mud. Give me the frog. Big gabbit, sloppy. Another good size large mouth, guys. This one's dirty. I think this might be a little bit bigger than the last one. What do you think? It's a good fish. Nice. Nice large mouth.
guys. Look at this gator. That is awesome. Wow. Real stories, baby. We got the fish, we got the geese, we got the big ass turtles. Awesome. Almost there. All right, still on the frog. But I want to catch a fish now. It's been far too long in between our last bust. I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. Come on. Well, that was fun. I loved a frog, guys. I know you loved a frog. I'm sorry we didn't get a couple more fish. I probably hurt us by not switching to that swim jig again, and I completely abandoned that walking bait because those trebles would have been a nightmare. But for you guys that stuck around, I'm gonna cut in a couple more frog blow-ups from last night. I caught me a four pounder. It was a beast because I know you love the frog and you wanna see a little more frog action. So give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe, that really helps me. I appreciate all your support. And let me know what types of videos you wanna see down below. If you like tips, let me know. If you wanna see me frog, let me know. If you want to see me at the house watching TV, let me know. Until then, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy these frogs. There's one, guys. Nice. Good fish. That's some real stories for you. No lie. Good fish, guys. Money, largemouth, gabbit. There's another one. Oh, yeah, we on them today. Yeah, this is good. One. Pull through all of that. Yeah, come on, baby. Yeah. Bring it on in. That fish hunter rod. This is a hard. I got so much slop on that. Another good. That's a good largemouth, guys. Oh. <sighs> Big gabbit. Oh my gosh. No rag. Look at that fish. Woo wee. That is a good largemouth. Mmm. Look at that. That is, that's a hammer. All right, guys, I don't have the best scale in the world, but saying she's almost four pounder. So I'll say, so I'll say nice three and a half. That's a four pounder to me. Good fish, guys. Look at that. That is a beast. Hope you guys can enjoy that. Oh, man.